2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and Proverbs chapter 20. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, and I don't want to be controversial here, but I just want to be uh, a lover of God's Word. And I always want to read God's Word as if I haven't had a lot of teachers tell me their interpretations of God word, God's Word. And so in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 1 through 4, it says, Concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered to Him. Now, doesn't that just sound like a pretty simple subject? Concerning Jesus coming back and our being gathered to Him. It says, not to become un we ask you not to become unsettled or alarmed by some prophecy report or letter supposing to say that the day of the Lord has already come. And then it says these words, don't, be don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction. He will oppose and exalt himself over everything that is called God or is worshipped, so that he sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. And this is talked a lot about in the book of Daniel. So I read that passage, and the first time I read it, I said, okay, so... Jesus Christ is not returning until after the Antichrist is revealed. Now, I realize there's a lot of pre-trib rapture people, and, and there's a couple of verses that might support that theory, and I'm not completely disavowing it, but I will tell you there's some pretty strong verses like this one that seem to indicate that, no, Jesus Christ will not return until after the Antichrist is revealed. This might be one of the strongest ones of all. And so I'm not taking a super strong stance. I'm just telling you that, I don't go by preset, prefabbed teachers telling me what the Word of God says. I go by the Word of God. And that passage, if I just read it straight up, says concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered to him, that will not happen until after the Antichrist is revealed and sets himself up in the temple. So that kind of makes me be aware that Jesus is not coming back until the Antichrist is revealed. It seems pretty clear to me. I'm not saying I'm an expert. I'm not saying I'm... 100% definitive. I'm just saying I like to take the Word of God straight up and honestly. Speaking of the Word of God straight up and honestly, Proverbs chapter 20 today, verse 18 says, Make plans by seeking advice. If you wage war, obtain guidance. And I wrote down here in spiritual warfare how, qual how much quality, how much wisdom, how godly and how unified is your team. You know, I, with, every time I work with people, I say, all right, in your home, in your family, do you seek the counsel of your children? Do you seek the counsel of your adult children? Do you seek the counsel of your parents, uh, in your office, in your work, in your friends? And so spiritual warfare can be a short process or a long process. And I've discovered that the higher quality the team in our home, in our family, in our church, in our close friends, in our work environment, the higher quality we have of, of quality, wise, godly, unified people, the shorter the battle. And so I just like, uh, let's win. Let's win quick. Let's win easy. Because that's what the Bible says. Make plans by seeking advice. If you wage war, obtain guidance. So let's win our spiritual battles and let's go forth and joy and victory in the Lord. So whether he comes back pre-trib, post-trib, mid-trib, or a pan-trib, it's all going to pan out. We're going to be serving him joyfully when he returns. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen.